Okay, I'm going to write a program um, that will include a procedure with a reference parameter. What the program will do is it will load in five numbers from a text file, display it in a rich edit. Then when I click on the remove eights button, it's going to run through all the numbers and remove all the eights and replace them with sevens. So the procedure will be called when I click on the button remove eight. Um, I coded the procedure in a separate unit just to make it more modular. Okay, the steps to declare a procedure is first step one, declare the procedure, say procedure, then the name of the procedure, then the parameters that that procedure will need to complete whatever you want it to do. Then you can click over there, press Ctrl Shift C, it will auto complete the layout of the procedure for you and then you can just code whatever you want inside that procedure. So what I did over here is I, I have my number, so it's running from the first letter in the number to the last one. If it finds a number 8, I replace that current position with a number 7. Okay, so I'm not, it's not a function, so I'm not sending something back, but I made this a reference parameter. Okay. By adding var in front of your parameter, you are making it a reference parameter. That means that when I call this procedure, when I click on remove 8 button over here, call the procedure by its name, I send the current value of the number, the current number, I send that to my procedure. So S10 will be loaded into S10N. Because it's a reference parameter, STM n will refer back to the original value, which is S10. That means that if I change S10 n, I'm actually changing the value of S10. If I remove the var, then it's a value parameter. That means that if I change S10 n, only the value inside S10 n will be changed to 7, and not the original value in S10, the normal S10. That means that the 8s will still be in S10. Okay, so on the form create, it's just a normal load, loading of a text file. I'm going to click on a button, I'm going to run through each one of the numbers, and I'm going to call my function, give him the number. He's going to change all the 8s to 7s, and because it's a reference parameter, all the changes will be made permanent in into S10. Only. And then I'm displaying the new values in my rich edit too.